On Sunday, it's the turn of a local lad to defend his world title at the Aston Villa Leisure Centre. As Andy Knowles reports, this bout will see no holds barred. Meet Cash the Flash Gill, the lad from Hansworth in Birmingham who's got the whole world in his hands and his feet. At 25, he's already won British, European and world kickboxing titles and on Sunday defends the world middleweight crown he won 12 months ago. It'll be his first fight since, having opted to give his body a complete rest after a hectic program over the previous couple of years. Now he's itching to get back into the ring. Once I got myself into shape, I feel better than when I felt before. I always feel that much better. I always train very hard for my fights, but this time I feel, I don't know, something special. I feel just that much fitter. There's not a lot of money in kickboxing, but I teach five different clubs around Birmingham mainly. And every night I teach three or four hours from, from children, from six upwards. I've even got a 71-year-old, you know, I teach from general, general people, children to office workers. Gill admits that fighting on home territory does add a little bit more pressure, but he knows that the Birmingham public will play their part. People have always wanted to see me fight because a lot of my fights are abroad. At one time I was more famous in Holland and Germany and France, but I think the fans are going to come out in force for this one. Gill's opponent on Sunday is called the Cobra. He'll have to be more than slippery if he's to beat the Flash. Well, Cash the Flash is still kicking his way into our consciousness here. Cash, what is all this in aid of? Hi. Yes. Tonight I'm fighting for my second world title. I'm already the world junior middleweight kickboxing champion, as you already know. But this time I'm dropping the weight division and fighting full contact karate. Now, this title's for the super welterweight world title, which is down in division and there's no leg kicks allowed. Now, you're playing a Mexican and you're fighting a Mexican. What do you think your chances are? That's right. The Mexicans have got a very good reputation for being very tough, but I'm in the best shape of my life and I've trained very hard. So I've trained to go the distance, but anything else is going to be a bonus. So you're not nervous? Um, if I'm not nervous, there's something always wrong. I always get a little bit nervous. Right. What about your supporters? Do you get a lot of supporters here? Uh, I've got a big following in Birmingham and outside of Birmingham now. And I've got all the Bangra dancers come down. My last world title fight, I had Nach De Haste come down, who brought me into the ring. This time, I actually got Apache Indian singing me into the ring. He's singing you into the ring? That's right, yeah. Apache Indian's a good friend of mine and he's done me a special song. <laughs> One in the boxing ring, Cash the Flash go teach you something. Oh, when him come, I know you better watch out. Tara come up in off his cream and shout. Never yeah. ball for the one Cash the Flash. Yeah. And a boy could I have a taste of that. Yeah. Oh, when him come, I know you better watch out. Would I kick you two time and I give you two clothes and the best and no one to be boy get that out. Cash the Flash hopes to live up to the pre fight hype. He's aiming to become the first kickboxer to win five world titles. <laughs> The nickname is pure theatre, but Cash Gill is deadly serious. He wants to be kickboxing's first superstar, as famous as any boxer who puts his body on the line for money. At six feet two and with an enormous reach, Cash has already floated to the top in this contact sport, and he's just 24. He's European middleweight champion, and at the Villa Leisure Centre on Saturday, fights for the world title. He's a fitness fanatic, running 10 miles a night and working out three hours a day in the gym. It's not normally a sport taken up by Asians. Parents at one time were encouraging the children to be doctors and lawyers, the Asian professions, as you know. But um, I hope to change things. Cash relies heavily on the experience of promoter and coach Howard Brown. He was hooked on the sport when he saw Howard fight. He's an able master, a world champion himself, and a man who's done much to bring the sport to the Midlands public. He enthuses too over a fighter destined for great things. He's going to be the most famous British kickboxer for a while to come. There's no doubt about that. In terms of his fighting style, he's so exciting. One of his biggest flaws is it's do or die. I bet he could give you a very severe headache too if he didn't try very hard. Cash the Flash Gill looking for no fewer than five world titles in Birmingham this weekend. But kickboxing is kicking to the legs, the outside of the legs, the inside of the legs, and, and uh, it's actually knocking yeah. them out. Mm, it's yes. uh, freestyle kickboxing. And as you're very tall, Cashy, we were just talking about you, 6'2". I mean, is that an advantage in kickboxing or some, or some way it's, it's uh, a disadvantage? I think in kickboxing, it's an advantage for me. I mean, these guys are usually a lot shorter than me. The way we yeah. 
do our training methods, it's, uh, the guy's going to be shorter than you, so I keep him at long range. Usually he's going to have the problem, not me. But, you know, we train both ways. But I also fight tie boxing where we use the knees and the elbows. Sometimes it can be a disadvantage because the guy's always on top of you and mm -hmm. it's quite difficult then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us, Cash, being a kickboxer, every time you go out and see a problem somewhere, does that kickboxer inside you, that, does that want to come out and fight because you know the fight and you know you can win? Does uh, it happen sometimes? No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. doesn't. How so, do you control your temper? So, I mean, a lot of our training the, you know, and, the, and the running and stuff, obviously, we, there's no need for us to, guys to go out and fight on the street because we ain't going to get paid for it for a start. Oh, and so you only fight for, uh, if you're getting paid? That's right, yeah. I, I would like to ask you now, if you weren't a teacher, would you still have to go to gym every day and uh, uh, do the uh, kickboxing as a practice? Well, if I wasn't fighting, if I wasn't competing, mm. I could just uh, go and have a few beers. <laughs> and then I'd go and teach the class if I wanted to. Mm. But for me, I think I've got, uh, I've had a year off now. But mm -hmm. I still hold the ISK world title, which is this belt here. Mm -hmm. I still hold this one, which I won again in Birmingham. Okay, what does yeah. ISK A stand for? That's the International Sport Kickboxing Association. Wow. Which mm -hmm. is quite a prestigious organisation well. yes, in exactly. America. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But, but as you said, yeah. But, you know, my next fight, hopefully, uh, I've got a new manager now from Holland, is Tom Harrings. So I'll be going out to Amsterdam to do a fair amount of training there. Yeah. I mean, if I, when, when I do, do retire, it'll be a lot easier for me because I won't have to go out running. I but I think uh, I'll always keep fit. Yes, that's the best thing. Yeah. So and, I'll always be fit and healthy. Yes, Cash, it was very nice to have you here. I'm afraid we are short of time now, so we have to say bye-bye to you. Yeah, thanks very and much. And I wish you all the best. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. And this Cash, and let's take a little bit of a break. Sports time now. Here's Steve Clamp. Thank you, Suzanne. Well, time will be called on the career of one of the Midlands' most successful sportsmen this weekend. Cash the Flash Gill is hoping to secure his place in martial arts history by winning his fifth world title in his final fight. Nick Clithero reports. Solihull's Cash Gill has fought 80 times during three decades in the sport and lifted the kickboxing world title four times, but he'll hang up his gloves for good this weekend. These are some of the belts I've won over the years. This was a, a, a challenge I had from another guy from London, and he said he was the best in England, called Combat 95. I actually knocked him out in the second round. This was the European title trophy here. Obviously, this belt means a lot to me. It's one of my world championship belts, which I won back in 91. Our fight has continued later on, but I think uh, I've had a very, very good career and uh, very successful. I think uh, I feel it myself now. It is getting a bit more difficult. I mean, my hands are a little bit more full now. I've got, you know, three kids and a wife, and I run an association. I think now's the time to call it a day. Unusually for a fighter, though, the 36-year-old is not giving up because his family wants him to stop. He likes a good kickboxer, and I'd like him to carry on because no one usually robs the house. Cash wants to go out at the top with a third attempt to lift the Thai boxing world title at the Aston Villa Leisure Centre on Sunday. It would be a very, very sad day for me on Sunday night. It, it is my last fight. I will miss it. But uh, hopefully, if I win, it's going to be hard sleeping Sunday night. Whatever happens, Cash the Flash will wake up on Monday knowing his fighting career is finally over. Tensions among different ethnic groups have led to unprecedented levels of policing in parts of Birmingham. Some blame the violence on racism between parts of the Asian and the African Caribbean community. The worst disturbances erupted in Lozales. Thankfully, the peace has been kept for the past two weeks, but many believe unless the problems are aired in the open rather than hidden in the shadows, nothing will change. Our correspondent Peter Wilson has this special report. Tensions on the street can break out over the slightest of things. At the weekend, the radical black group, the Nation of Islam, came up from London to tour the streets of Lozelles. They're due to hold meetings next week in Birmingham. They wanted to make clear that they had no part to play in the desecration of Muslim graves. The streets have been empty and people have heeded the calls for calm. A few yards away, an evening class where the difference gets underway. All races and religions come to Cash Gill's kickboxing classes. I produced a world champion from Lozell's club last week. He was my first world champion, but the kids here have a lot of potential to do really well in the future. You might think that people are at each other's throats, but it's racism which is getting a kicking. 
I think it's more outside influences that uh, cause the trouble, and it's not really to do with uh, religion and uh, racial harmony. I think everything was chaos, really, that was going on the night before. So I think everybody's bonding, and there's good things like kickboxing and karate and all different types of martial arts, people to come together and actually show that, you know, we're all as one. The economics of the inner city mean that everyone is competing for the same resources. While it's not politically correct to talk about racism, some believe the city needs to be more honest about its divisions before people can come together. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Teenagers in the Midlands say a kickboxing club is helping them to keep away from a life of drugs and crime. The club in Birmingham was set up earlier this year and police say since it's opened it's helped to prevent antisocial behaviour in the community. Muna Habib reports. It's a sport that's usually been associated with Asia, but now youngsters in Birmingham are mastering the technique. Kickboxing uses martial arts style kicks and boxing style punches to defeat an opponent. The youngsters meet in Edgbaston three times a week <laughs> to train with adults who also mentor them. The gym opened its doors to children in April this year. Crossbody, one, two, three, By Cash Gill, a former world one, kickboxing champion. Two, He's been running martial arts classes around the city for the past 20 years. They're learning a new skill here. Kickboxing is a, it's an art form. It's a discipline they've got to learn, and it does give them discipline. I mean, some of the kids come here, the parents bring them, obviously getting bullied at school. Life of many, including 16-year-old Tyler Shepard. He left behind a life of crime to become junior middleweight world kickboxing champion of 2007. When I got to like a teenager, it's like 13, I found myself uh, hanging around with people that I shouldn't have been, like the wrong type of people to be hanging around with. Like, people that was into like drugs and all that, and like, I didn't want to be around that. And like kickboxing just gave me something to do and it kept me off all that and kept me on the straight and narrow. For many other children who come here, this gym has given them the opportunity to discover new talents helping them to focus their energy into something positive that will help them later in life. With teenagers so often blamed for antisocial behaviour in the city, this initiative is welcomed by the local police. I think it'll have a tremendous impact on the community. It's a brand new facility. Uh, Cash is uh, an ex-world boxing kick champion looking to get into the community and together working with the local schools, local people, learn the new sport, have, have some fun at the same time. I think it will divert behaviour that we're experiencing at the minute to make the whole community a lot better than it is now. On tonight's Desi Diné, I track down former world kickboxing hero Cash the Flash Gill as he attempts to unearth the next generation of world champions. He's toured the globe, beaten the best in the world, held four championship titles, and now he's turned his talent to the next generation. He's cashed the flash, Gil. Are we done? And this Birmingham gym is where Cash the Flash coaches the world champions of the future. Cash, you're one of the nicest guys I've ever met, you know. I mean, I, you know, how did an Asian kid get into kickboxing and then become kickboxing world champion? I seen kickboxing in the local park. I said, yeah, that looks a lot better than boxing. I'll have a go at that. Once I started, my goal was to become world champion. And that's exactly what he did. Winning his first title at the age of 25, Cash went on to box his way around the globe, retaining his title four times over a period of 11 years. He's now hung up his gloves to focus his energy on coaching kickboxing's hopefuls. Kick. 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 I mean, do, do you sometimes look back at it and go, perhaps I didn't get the recognition that, that I deserved? And, you know, still a lot of people didn't know about it at the time. It's a bloody tough sport. It's hard work. You know, I wish it did get the coverage and I wish it did get the financial reward that boxers got. So you hung up your gloves, now you're into promoting and finding the next cash girl. Why is that? I've made two world champions and that hopefully I'll become a top coach. I've made the top fights, I've won four world titles. I hope to be the best coach out there now. As well as coaching, Cash has turned promoter. And with the big fight night coming up, his stable of fighters are in the final day's training. Meet Razor Raj. <laughs> How did you get into kickboxing? I know to be back in school and that I used to have a bit of a rough time with lads and that, and I thought I had to do something. And the closest was cash, and I, that's where I started it off kickboxing. 
Simon K.O. Akufo. It's so important, is it, that Cash puts these big tournaments on? I mean, this is the first major world championship tournament right here in Birmingham, isn't it? I'm fighting for a European title. I'm not the main, main fight in the bill. Sonny's fighting for a world title. We're both getting treated like champions anyway. Mm. And Sonny, the hitman hero. Now, you've got a title fight coming up. Tell us about that. It's my second world title fight, so I'm prepared, prepared, ready, just ready to go. I've done all the hard work. Kickboxing is one of the UK's fastest growing sports. It's a martial art that evolved out of karate and Thai boxing. Here we are in Hansworth, you know, which has got, you know, Asian kids and black kids on the streets who are looking for things to do. Does this really provide them with something quite sort of, quite serious, quite respectful, I suppose? Some of the kids out there don't know it's out there for them, but that's the service I offer. I say, come on, lads, come on in, bring them in off the street, obviously, because I want the good for the community. Why do kickboxers need this middle name? Like, why does it have to be Cash the Flash? Razor Raj, Sonny the Hitman. What, what, what's, what's that about? I was known as Cash the Flash, okay. obviously, because I'm a fighting star. So it's kind of like within the gym, really. So if I was to do one, I was thinking, you know, maybe add all the Stingray. Do you fancy having a little uh, move around in the ring? About uh, one pair each? What, me and you? Definitely. OK, running. That's it, Kang. Oh, run, Adol. We can use that. That's it. It's all right. It probably is better I leave the fighting to the experts. Maybe I can pick up some tips at Cash's big event. It's fight night. This is where championships are won and lost. For Cash, it's probably his most ambitious tournament to date. Welcome to World Championship Kickboxing. Here in the centre of Birmingham, European and World Championship titles are there for the taking. So this is the big night, Cash, this is the one you've been working for? This is it, yeah, let's um, be nervous. Let's all hope it comes together well tonight. I've been given access to the dressing rooms, where the atmosphere is tense. Raj, just caught you a couple of hours before fight time. How do you feel, man? Yeah, I feel good, confident. Is he yeah, ready to wrap up and then do the business? Raj is one of Cash's fighters of the future. Tonight, it is baptism of fire against Andy Goldthorne from Norwich. The weeks of intensive training pay off, and he takes a convincing victory. Please, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is Simon, Mr. K.O. Akufo. Simon, how are you feeling? I feel uh, ready, yeah, we're ready, confident. It's been a long build-up. It's been a tough ten weeks, but uh, this is what it's all for. The ISKA European title belt is vacant, so he's going 10 rounds against Hungarian Josef Siklodi, and with 12 knockouts to his name, Simon's got his work cut out. His opponent goes down in the seventh, and Simon takes the European title. This is why... This is why... How much does this fight mean to you, man? This is what I've been doing my whole life, so now it's time to go and uh, get my glory. Top of the bill is the main fight. The ISKA World Super Bantamweight title is up for grabs. Sonny, the hitman hero, is going head-to-head -head with the Hungarian fighter Thomas Dukai, who's only lost one fight out of his previous 30. If Sonny can win tonight, it means two world championships. His opponent's corner throws in the towel. Second world title, man. Second world title, what can I say? I won the first in the sixth round. I worked a lot hard for this, for this world title, and I finished him in the fifth round, so all that hard work's definitely paying off. The night's been a huge success, and Cash's boys add more belts to the collection. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the kickboxing champions of the world. One, 